Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamonds for Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down this slate of games. We've got some primetime games, some West Coast games to get into. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got our first game up, 7-10 Eastern start time, Texas Rangers, Boston Red Sox. Game number two of the series, Texas comes in. What about eight games under 500? They've really struggled on the road as well. Outside of Arlington, 12 games under 500. They got Jose Urena on the hill. He's up against Cutter Crawford going for the Red Sox. Total of 10, Sox minus 145 home favorites. Red Sox, six games over 500. They're not playing their best baseball, though. Coming into the series, they gave up 31 runs, getting swept by the Houston Astros. So they've lost four straight before uh, – before this series starting and they got Crawford on the hill here, guys, he is actually a pitcher. I'm looking to fade right now. Last four starts, 18 innings, 22 earned runs. That's an 11 ERA. He's also got an 11 fifth in that time frame. 13 home runs. So he has been really rocked. He gave up four walks last time out. So struggling with control. Um, he's, he's fade city right now. And Urena for the Rangers, he used to be in the Marlins organization. He's kind of a bullpen slash trying to make him a starter here. Nine earned in his last eight innings of work. He's given up 30 walks. I mean, he's a guy that's only had eight starts this season. Other than that, you know, some bullpen appearances. But I think both of these two starting pitchers are going to have a, a, a rough time here, guys. So, hey, it's a total of 10 pitchers ball or hitters ballpark, Fenway Park, that is. I think we get up and over. I think this is a score fest, you know, eight to seven, something like that. So uh, let's get up and over 10 to start us off Rangers and Red Sox. Game number two, heading to the south side here, New York Yankees, Chicago White Sox. We normally don't talk, you know, situations like this. And it's the New York Yankees minus 310 favorites, total of nine. But there's a couple of reasons why, guys, getting them out here. Nestor Cortez. The Southpaw going for the Bronx Bombers. Jonathan Cannon, the rookie out of Georgia, the former Bulldog, is the starter here for the White Sox. All right, the White Sox 28 and 91 to start this series. They are 1 and 23, their last 24 games. But the one game that they won, it was with Cannon on the hill. Actually, he's off of back to back to back solid starts. He's a guy throwing 95, 96 miles per hour. In his last 13 innings, he's only given up seven hits and two earned runs. So I actually think he could have a decent start here against the Yankees. And the Yankees, yeah, 70 plus wins on the season, but they're just one in seven. The last eight times Cortez has started th their game. So they've really been a money burner uh, with this guy uh, on the hill. And since early July, his last five starts, Nine earned run, uh, nine ERA. That's 24 runs in the last 23 innings pitched. 36 hits given up as well. So I'm not saying this White Sox lineup is, is, is you know, uh, that great. They are better against lefties, like 30 team OPS points better. So I guess that's a plus. Hey, it's always tough to make huge arguments, you know, really solid arguments on a plus 260 underdog here, guys. But if Jonathan Cannon, you know, has a decent start, I think the White Sox are going to be able to put up a couple crooked numbers here. Hey, it's about betting numbers, right? And at minus 310 on the Bronx Bombers, I'm not interested in that side, guys. Actually, take a take a swing here. You know, if you're new to betting baseball, the money lines, you risk 100 to win 260. That means you go to the sports book, put 100 bucks. If you win, you get 360 back. I don't know. I think it's too much, guys. I, th I think the White Sox here... Have a shot. So plus 260, the big home dog barking, listing Jonathan Cannon as the starter. We're going with the White Sox for maybe the first time all season on Drew's Daily Diamond. Going each and every day, Monday through Saturday on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Guys, game two, we're heading to uh, Milwaukee for game two of this series. It's the LA Dodgers, Milwaukee Brewers. Next game up, Colin Ray going for the Brew Crew. Gavin Stone for the Dodgers. 8-10 Eastern start time. Dodgers minus 115 road favorites. Eight in the hook being the total. Milwaukee playing good baseball, winning five of their last six coming into the series. Dodgers also playing good ball. Six of their last eight sweeping Pittsburgh in the series before. 
Colin Ray uh, for for the Brewers here. Seven innings, zero earned runs last time out. Nine strikeouts against the Braves. Uh, he, he's throwing the ball pretty well, and he's up against Gavin Stone. In my notes, guys, I was waiting for this start. Um, he's a young guy. He's already surpassed the amount of innings he's thrown in his in his career. Um, so I'm looking for him to kind of tail off. And sure enough, you've been watching the show. We've been making some money going against him. I mean, he has a 3-7 ERA for the season. That's not bad. He's had a pretty good overall uh, 2024. But he's, he has started to tail off of late. His last six starts, 21 earned runs in 28 innings. That's not very good. A 7 ERA, 7 FIP as well. He's 0-3 record-wise. Like I said, that innings kind of limit or maximum he has surpassed it, so I don't think he's going to have a great start. He's up against a, a Brewers lineup that has been pretty good. The Brewers got a bullpen edge as well. I think this is wrong team favorite, guys. Uh, the home dog, plus price, plus 102. Risk 100 to win 102. That's the Brewers over the Dodgers. 7-10 Eastern for the next one. I'm going to be I'm going to be quick on this because it's actually not up. I'm going. I'm doing the show going into the overnight market. And it's the New York Mets hosting the Oakland Athletics. Paul Blackburn is the listed starter for the Mets. There, it's undecided for the A's as I'm doing the uh, the video here. But we've talked about if you watch last week, the Mets and the schedule situation. This might be the worst spot that I could remember for the full season. Any MLB team, just to run through it quickly here, guys. The Mets, yes, four games over 500, but their schedule. They were in New York. They went out to Los Angeles. Then they went to St. Louis for one game, then to Colorado, then to Seattle. They haven't played a home de a home game in the month of August. They just dropped the last three games in Seattle. Like the schedule spot coming in, we were actually talking about that going against them. Sure enough, they dropped all three. They only scored one run in their last three games. So it, it, the Mets by no means are, are a bet on in this one and even tomorrow's game against Oakland. Now I'm waiting for the line to come out. It does look like Ross Stripling is the likely starter, but it, it's still not confirmed. He hasn't been great for FIP on the season. And it's an interesting also handicap here because Paul Blackburn is going for the Mets, making his, his third start with the Metropolitans. He has, he has pitched well in New York, six innings, one earned and in the first two starts, each of them. Um, but he's facing his former team here, the team that traded him away. That's always a little bit tricky. Overall, guys, I think the schedule spot is the thing to kind of really pay attention and dig into. We just went over it. And first game back, this is not a bet on for the Mets. So Oakland's going to be get, catching a big plus price here because the Mets are the better team overall, record-wise for sure. But in this spot, I think the A's are the side here. So we're going Oakland at the plus price action in terms of whoever the starting pitcher is when the number comes out. I'll be in the comments below um, with what number I get. Uh, let me know as well. I I if you're tailing this or maybe even jumping on the mats, that's fine. Uh, feel free to, to post in the comments below, guys. And uh, yeah, any agreement, disagreement, all is welcome. Just looking to get become smarter sports betters here. So uh, appreciate everybody chiming in. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. We do have one game left. Uh, we'll hit it here. And also premium picks. Check them out. Wagertalk.com. We got a special right now. You get seven days a week of service for the cost of three. So it's huge savings there if you're interested in, uh, in jumping on board. Try it out. Wagertalk.com. Drew Martin experts page. All right. Last game on the card here. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. San Diego Padres. 940 Eastern. 640 local time. Game two of the series. Looks like a nice night there in Southern California. 72 degrees. Light winds. We get Luis Ortiz on the hill for Pittsburgh. Mike, Michael King going for the Padres. Minus 190, that's San Diego is the home favorite. Seven and a half or eight being the total right now. Pittsburgh coming in 56 and 61. They lost seven straight coming into the series. They've also lost the last three times Ortiz has taken the hill. He started off the season great. 3-4 ERA, but 10 earned runs in his last 11 innings pitched. And he's facing the San Diego Padres for the second time. He just faced them last week. Um, and he's up against Michael King here in the same situation, back-to-back -back against the same lineup. He faced the Pirates lineup uh, just last week, went five innings, four runs. Whenever the lineups face the pitchers 
this close together. I always think it favors the offense, particularly if the opposing pitcher didn't like strike out a bunch of batters and dominate them. So that situation's happening on both sides right now, guys. Um, and both bullpens have kind of struggled here, both the Padres and the Pirates. What I'm getting at is this total seven and a hook is still available, but it, it, a lot of them are getting taken out here in the overnight. So if you can get the seven and a half up and over, eight will work as well. So that's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond. Uh, in recap, we got the Padres and Pirates up and over seven in the hook. We got the Oakland Athletics. We're jumping on them at the plus price. Well, I'll be in the comments below. We got Milwaukee Brewers plus 102 with the home dog barking. Another home dog in the Chicago White Sox. A big home dog plus 260 over the Yankees. And we got the Boston Red Sox, Texas Rangers up and over 10 to start off the Tuesday slate. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button, comment below. We'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Cash those tickets.